When buying a property like this, the purchase price is not your concern. Do you guys know why? The reason is because you are not actually going to pay this much for the property. In reality, you're probably going to get a loan, and even if you say you're using cash, you're still probably going to use cash from another source. So whenever you purchase a property for this much money, almost always when it's an investment property, nobody is spending 1.25 million for the property. They're spending whatever their entry fee is with their lender. And guys, when you go to a lender, for example, a DSCR loan, which is a common investment loan or an SBA loan, another common investment loan, they're gonna have you put down between 20 and 30% of the property's value. So the reason that nobody can defeat my offers and the reason that I beat out every other wholesaler when it comes to making offers on properties like this is because I'm not thinking about price. I'm thinking about entry fee and how much it costs me to get into the deal. While all of you guys are calling trying to get this property for a million dollars, I'm offering $1.325 million, $75,000 above list price, and I'm going to tell you why that's actually a better deal than if I were to get this for a million dollars at a $250,000 discount. The reason it's a better deal is because of the terms surrounding this. So as I said, people are typically putting down between 20 and 30% of the value of the house. And because of that, it takes them years and years before they see actual profit after paying off their down payment. So if we can offer $75,000 above list price with a down payment of only 9.4% or sub 10% is amazing, we are getting into the deal for much less. So I call up the real estate agent and I say, hey, I'm gonna negotiate backwards. I wanna offer 1.325 for the property. I'd like to put down $125,000 and I'd like to pay them $2,500 every single month. Now, $2,500 every single month is not actually coming from my pocket. It's coming from the tenant's pocket. So now I'm only paying $125,000 for this property that's worth upwards of $1.25 million. And as a result, I can cash flow much, much faster. But when I purchase the property for $125,000 down, I'm gonna put a tenant in the property and the tenant is going to produce the $2,500 a month that goes to the seller. Now the property total produces $4,500 per month. So actually we are purchasing a pretty significant amount of profit every single month for the 125,000 down. Now properties go up over time. So we have a balloon payment at 84 months and we'll just do a cash out refinance to make the seller whole, switch our debt and pay even less per month to the bank when our balloon hits. Guys, this is seller finance and I am dominating right now.